So I have a defective fan motor and blade that I pulled out of a unit this week. And the reason being that I have it here is I'm going to show you how to use a hub puller properly if you have to use one on site to pull the blade off. Now for this demo, I'm going to use the Supco hub blaster. So I always start with removing the set screw, loosening it, taking it out and putting it aside. So we got to clean up what's exposed of the shaft. And I just like to use some penetrating oil and some sand cloth. I know other techs like to use some other types of lubricant and that is fine as well. One thing I also like to do is just get some lubricant inside of that hole where the set screw is. Next we're gonna choose the plastic insert piece that fits this hub. So it's this red one in this case. And what the plastic is super good for is covering up the set screw hole because the last thing you wanna do is tighten the bolts down on this piece and jam it into your hole. I've done this before, it's not pretty. So I like to put the plastic piece inside of this metal piece and then just tighten the bolts a little bit just so they act as a retainer so the plastic piece can't fall out. So once it's on, you're going to use the included wrench to tighten up the bolts around the hub. You're going to want to take the insert and you're going to want to spin it on to the hub right here until it locks into place. This is where I start tightening the bolt with my finger until I hit the top of the shaft. Now what you want to do is take an adjustable or the correct size wrench and you want to put it on the nut here and you want to break the shaft and the blade where it's seized. Once you're fully broken, then you can take your impact gun, attach it and remove the rest of the fan blade with your impact gun. Just some added information here, guys. If you feel your threads are a little tight, just throw some lubrication on your threads before you start to tighten them down. Happy HVACing.